If you're a delinquent like me, you want to know whether or not Zeal stabilizers are worth purchasing with the recent appearance of Everglide and Jurok stabilizers. With accusations of their origins being thrown around, it's probably best to hear what Zeal PC has to say about these alleged clones. So, I went ahead and asked this absurd question to his Discord server, filled with the most knowledgeable and sophisticated individuals. A respectable community member told me that Zeal PC stabilizers were the best I could buy as of now, signifying to me that they are still superior. But that wasn't good enough for me, I wanted real evidence, something I could look at and be like, yep, this design is far superior than anything else. So I searched through the abundance of comparison articles discussing the physical distinctions between Zeal stabs and the clones. It took a while because there were so many, but I finally found it. So this is Zeal PC's official statement, and if you break it down, there's two claims. The silent update for a superior product, and that everything else is a clone. But a lot of people are already aboard the Jurok and Everglide hype train, with a bunch of these stabs being sold through multiple channels like AliExpress and KB Republic, and for the most part, there hasn't been anything negative to say about these stabs, with many now recommending them as the new go-to. But then you also have those who outright refuse to associate themselves with the clones, and are patriotic to the original. And unfortunately for the viewers who want me to decide for them, I won't be voicing an opinion in this video. The point of this video is to physically compare the two and see if Zeal's claims are valid or just marketing, because he seems pretty adamant that his products are superior. I will be comparing Jurok to his most recent Rev2 stabilizers, purchased in December 2019. Unfortunately, I was unable to really identify when Revision 1 ended, or when tangible improvements began. Here, you have a snapshot of a V2 listing from July 2018, so it's pretty murky and confusing. I don't have Rev 1s, so I can't comment on their similarity to Jurok or Everglades. Okay, so now keep in mind stabilizers are like 1.5cm, so they're very very tiny. So every difference you observe will be in the millimeters, so please keep that in mind. Use your critical thinking abilities to identify what is actually tangible and realistic. Looking at the side profiles of the inserts, there's no difference in design, but this doesn't mean anything anyway. We can observe the materials there, Zeal's being a different color and therefore there may be a difference in material used, either quality or composition. They both have a smooth finish, though you can't claim that one is better than the other solely from this, the differences are minuscule. The wire insert however are different. Zeals have the extra amount of plastic to help reduce rattle, whereas Jurox do not. From the images alone, it might be plausible to discredit the clones. However, the same area is actually smaller in the clones than alternatives such as GMK, meaning there's less of potential for rattle in the Jurox and Everglides, making them superior in their own right. Also, having a piece of extra plastic doesn't necessarily make Zeals invulnerable to rattle. There's still a possibility, it's just less of a potential. Now, looking at the bunch of inserts, can you spot out which ones are Zeals and which are clones? Now, can you only tell which is which because you were looking for the extra piece of plastic, or did you notice anything else meaningful or different that I didn't point out? And as a side note, the bases are flat, so if you keep asking if these stabs need clipping, you probably should look up the point of clipping stabs. I'm going to call them teeth. The four little extrusions on the side of each housing wall, they help stop the insert from wobbling too much. Can you see the differences? The ones on the top are ever so slightly smaller and not as defined. Now let's look at where the wire would rest. All wires have the potential to pop out of any stabilizer housing, and there can be a bit of confirmation bias with this, in which people will voice the issue happening with one brand, making it seem like a frequent occurrence, and it's especially noticeable if it happens to you. However, the issue could also be happening with other stabilizers, but just not documented. I've had this issue happen with both these brands, and I suspect it's more of a material limitation in combination with human error when removing keycaps. If I don't tell you, Will you be able to notice any differences? Do these differences matter? Which is Zeal and which is Jurok? Okay, so looking at this, this doesn't matter. And then looking at this, this is more of an identifier. So this is the actual interesting part. It seems that Zeal's revisions attempt to prevent the wire from popping out by having the wire rest at a steeper angle. 
I didn't notice this at first, till some Discord mates pointed it out. So I don't know if you'd notice it as well. Both these stabilizers have compatibility issues with the extra piece of plastic going around the thread, preventing the stab from fitting into PCB encases. So, you may need to file them down. Additionally, Zeal stabs are labelled with the Z, whereas Jurox do not. Uh, the M2 threads are different as well, though this isn't really worth mentioning as it doesn't really affect performance. Now, I think it's fair if we compare prices as well, and Zeals are fairly costly in comparison to Jurok and Everglides. Also, Zeal stabs you can only buy from him meaning you have limited opportunity to bundle other items. Uh, so overall, technically yes, Zeal is correct in saying his items are objectively superior, though realistically, how much better and how much worth the premium it is, it's up to you to decide.